Good morning and Merry Christmas. Welcome to St. John's Episcopal Church. So glad to have you all worshiping with us this morning. If you're visiting, we just want to say a special word of welcome. We are so delighted to have you with us today. If you'd like, you can fill out the visitor's card in the pew rack in front of you and turn that in at the offering plate at the back of the church. And we'd be glad to let you know more about life here at St. John's and how we can make you especially welcome. For our friends who are following us online this morning, welcome. A few minutes prior to our video going live, this morning's worship bulletin was posted to our Facebook page. And so you can go there and scroll back and find the link for that and follow the service with us this morning. Today we are having the uh, festive service of Christmas lessons and carols. So I just invite you all to uh, enjoy and partake of the story of our faith, as well as the songs that we all have come to love that tell this great story of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Again, glad to have you worshiping with us today. Let us take a moment of silence and prepare our hearts for worship. Beloved in Christ, in this Christmas tide, let it be our care and delight to hear again the message of the angels, and in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, and the babe lying in a manger. Let us read and mark in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of God from the first days of our disobedience unto the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child. And let us make this place glad with our carols of praise. But first, 
Let us pray for the needs of this whole world, for peace and goodwill over all the earth, for the mission and unity of the church for which he died, and especially in this country and within this city. And because this of all things he rejoice his heart, let us at this time remember in his name the poor and the helpless, the hungry and the oppressed, the sick and those who mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, and all those who know not the Lord Jesus, or who love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart with love. Lastly, let us remember before God his pure and lowly mother, and all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore, and in a greater light, that multitude which no one can number, whose hope was in the Word made flesh, and with whom in this Lord Jesus we forevermore are one. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven, and the words which Christ himself hath taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Almighty God bless us with his grace. Christ give us the joys of everlasting life. And unto the fellowship of the citizens above, may the King of angels bring us all. Amen. You may be seated for the reading of the lessons.
book of Genesis, chapter 22, beginning at the 15th verse, where God promises to faithful Abraham that in his seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this, and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will indeed bless you, and I will make your offspring as numerous as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gate of their enemies, and by your offspring shall all the nations of the earth gain blessings for themselves, because you have obeyed my voice. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The peace that Christ will bring is for Sean. Isaiah 11. A shoot shall come forth from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. With righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide the equity for the meek of the earth. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fat men together. A little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the seeds as the waters cover the sea. Jesus. He will be great 
and he will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will, be, will overshadow you. Therefore the child will be born, will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. The angel departed from her. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
The angel Gabriel salutes the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to the town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Then Mary said, Here I am, servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her.
to back. And then the hymn, the following hymn after that would be uh, Angels We Have Heard on High. But we are two Celestials back to back. How are you Shepherds go to the manger. A reading from Luke chapter 2. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he, find, whom he favors. When the angels had left them, and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger.
St. John unfolds the great mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John, who came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, he came to testify to the light. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the Word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. Gospel of the Lord. Praise of the people. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Father, your Son, our Savior, was born in human flesh. Renew your church as the body of Christ. Holy God, hear our prayer. There was no room for your Son in the end. Protect with your love those who have no home at all, who live in poverty. Holy God, hear our prayer. Mary, in the pain of labor, brought your son to birth. Hold in your hand the foster and painting families, Katie, Christy, Maddox, Vicki, Doug, Norman, Tim, Teresa, Jim, Frank, Allison, Chris, Branson, Richard, Sharon, Luther, and all who are in pain. And please keep G. Marie's son in your prayers as he uh, has tested positive. Holy God, hear our prayers. Your Christ came as a shining light in the darkness. Bring comfort to all who suffer in the sadness of our world. Holy God, hear our prayers. The angel sang, Peace to God's people on earth. Strengthen those who work for peace and justice for all the health care workers and essential employees in our community and around the world. Remembering especially Scott, Joel, Elaine, Matt, Emily, Kathy, Greg, Michael, Melinda, and Julia. All teachers and school employees remembering especially Bethany, Kathy, Doris, Susan, Elizabeth, Dale, Kathy, Susan, Alex, Michael, Amanda, John, Amy, Anthony, Edwin, Brency, Melissa, Pam, and Hannah's House Elementary School. Pray for the safety of our armed forces at home and abroad. 
remember especially Ander, Dominic, Steele, Brian, Tim, Matthew, Carson, Nathaniel, Richard, Nathan, Jock, Jason, Ryan, Jake, Brendan, Kyle, and Matt in all the world. Holy God, hear our prayer. Shepherds in the field heard glad tidings of joy. Give us grace to preach the gospel of Christ's redemption. Holy God, hear our prayer. Strangers found the Holy Family and saw the baby lying in the manger. Bless our homes and all whom we have and the children and youth of our community. Holy God, hear our prayer. Heaven has come down to earth and earth is raised to heaven. Hold in your hand all those who have passed through death in the hope of your coming kingdom remembering especially Susan Tate. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. <laughs> Christians the world over celebrate Christ's birth. Open our hearts that he may be born in us today. Holy God, hear our prayer. Father, angels, and shepherds worship at the manger throne. Receiving the worship we offer in fellowship with Mary, Joseph, and the saints, through him who is your word made flesh, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. My friends, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. As we get ready to prepare for the Holy Communion, I'll just give a little more instruction on how to do this for the next few weeks as we're transitioning into receiving wine for communion. But if this is your first time to receive wine at communion since we started that about a week or so ago, I'll just give a little bit of instruction for this morning's uh, receiving of Holy Communion. When the time comes to come forward to receive Holy Communion, our usher will come and uh, release you by your row to come uh, up to the altar. We encourage folks to use the handrails if you're able. Um, also, if you prefer to stay in your seat and have communion brought to you, you can uh, have that option as well. Just remain where you are, and after folks have uh, received communion at the rail, we'll come down and bring it to you there in your seat. Um, but when you come forward, if you are going to come forward for communion at that time, you'll see there is a little table of cups uh, here at the front. Just as you come up the aisle, be sure to grab a little cup when you come. And you'll take that with you to the rail. And when the time comes, I will come uh, first and bring you bread. And you can receive the bread in your hand. Uh, or if you want, you can receive it in the cup as well. But you just put your hands out as you would uh, receive the bread. And then after I've given you the bread, uh, she will come around with the cruet of wine and just pour a little bit into your cup. So just be ready to have your cup there. And then you can partake of the, the bread and the wine um, as you are able to there. But following taking the bread and the wine before you go back to your seat, we have in our little alcove seats a, a little dish for you to place your uh, dispose your cup in uh, after you finish taking the wine. So you can do this on your way back down. There's one on either side. And uh, just again, encourage folks to use the handrails uh, as you're able to there. And then when we come up, just the flow of traffic will maybe be a little bit slower than what we would have done, gosh, over a year or a half or so now. Uh, but, but we'll just kind of take our time uh, coming to the rail and then going back to our seats. And again, if you would like to have communion brought to you, just stay there and I'll be by with uh, communion to bring it to you afterwards. Let us walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God.
us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give Him thanks and praise. It is right to do good and joyful things, always and everywhere to give thanks to You, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Because we have made Jesus Christ your only Son to be born for us, who by the mighty power of the Holy Spirit was made perfect man of the flesh of the Virgin Mary his mother, so that we might be delivered from the bondage of sin and receive power to become your children. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name.
gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you. And feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual foods in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you this day and forever. Amen. Depart in peace. Remember the poor. Pray for the sick and love one another. May God, who is the Holy Spirit, be within us to refresh us, around us to protect us, before us to guide us, above us to bless us, and beneath us to hold us up. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
You know how to turn this thing off. Oh. Do you know how to turn this off, Marty? Yeah. <laughs>